What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome to Class Course, where we take a brief look at a specific class and spec from World of Warcraft and break down their core rotation. So if you're not too familiar with how to play a particular class, you've come to the right place. But if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, like stat weights or talent builds, you might want to check out the class discords, and I will provide links to them in the description below. As a fire mage, you can control fire, but as a destruction warlock, you can control the flames of hell. Hell's a grenade. Oh man, it's even got a cool name. This one is for all the metalheads out there. If you're a tortured soul who likes the thought of burning things with hellfire and using souls to do it, then you were born to be a destruction warlock. Have mercy. Sorry. All out of mercy. So why not celebrate this year's Halloween by becoming the next edgelord in training as I help get you started with the basics of a destruction warlock. Like all warlocks, you have the ability to summon a demon to fight alongside you. For destruction warlocks, it's generally recommended that you summon your fell hunter. As your hellhound fights alongside you, your main priority will be to apply and maintain emulate on your target at all times. After that, you'll want to use conflagrate on cooldown. And when you have nothing else to do, you can use Incinerate as filler. Seems simple enough, right? Well, all three of these abilities will be generating Soul Shards, and you can consume your Soul Shards on Chaos Bolt. Just remember that maintaining Emulate is still your main priority. Now, when you're fighting multiple targets, you can apply Havoc to a secondary target to temporarily allow your single target abilities to also hit that target. And if you're fighting five or more enemies, you can start using Reign of Fire. Now don't forget that your main cooldown is Summon Infernal. Using it will allow you to summon an Infernal to the target location, and where it lands it will deal damage to all enemies nearby. After that, it will fight alongside you for 30 seconds, and help generate Soul Shards. You should try and summon your Infernal whenever you can, but the Infernal does massive AoE damage so it's especially useful when you're fighting large packs of enemies. Hopefully this video has helped get you started, but keep in mind that in Battle for Azeroth, there are a lot of factors that can change up how your class is played. Talents, Azerite armor, essences, and even PvP talents can have a significant impact on your rotation. So if you would like more information on all of that, again, I highly recommend that you check out the class discords. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.